this script, The Virtuoso, uh, it's such a clean structure. It's so well done. I got not only it immediately, but I knew what I wanted to do with the role as soon as I read it. And that doesn't happen a lot. It's a journey of self-discovery that is... The ending is inextricably tied. It's so inextricably tied to his development as a human being, he can't help but go there. So I think that that's that little scene in his car outside the hotel, and he calls the mentor to say that he's he's done, but he's got one loose end to tie up. I think the decision to go in that hotel room, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's, I think he knows he's going against his gut instincts, but he has to do it because he's not gonna go down this road anymore. He's gonna go down this road now, and the only way to do that is to take this huge leap of faith with this person for the first time he's ever done anything like that and it's his undoing on its surface it could very easily be seen as an action film but it's really it's an internal arc uh, and it's a it's kind of a coming-of-age story somebody who internally is still very much a child even though he's a killer and he starts to experience these things that make him break his rules and he doesn't know why and it's because we as the audience realize he's developing a conscience. The great thing about Nick is, you know, this is a little independent film, but this is not Nick's first time on this merry-go-round. He's been through the process. He knows how to be prepared the way in which he wants to be prepared, what's going to serve him as a filmmaker, what's not going to serve him as a filmmaker, and to be patient and not freak out.